Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Today I present to you mango basil peanut tofu bowl. It is amazing. When there are enough mangoes in season, make this bowl because the sauce with the mango and the basil is delicious. It's savory with a little spike and tanginess. Use kesar or alfonso, whatever you can get hold of. The sauce that I've tossed the tofu in is just divine. So those who are vegetarians or vegan, it's a perfect bowl for you. It's wholesome, nutritious and little time consuming because there are a lot of components to it, but it's a versatile dish. I just love this dish because of the sauce. Sometimes we also toss it like a salad and use the sauce like a dressing instead of having a bowl with noodles, quinoa or red rice. So give it a try to like, to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. All the ingredients to my recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look. Until next time, bye-bye. I've got some extra firm tofu which I've taken out of its cover. We've got a cloth here. I'm going to keep it on that. We're going to cover it. And we're going to put some weight on it and just leave it like this for half an hour to 45 minutes for all the excess water to drain out of it. Let's check our tofu. We're going to get the weight off. There's quite a bit of water did come out. We're going to just cube it. Take big ones if you feel like and we're going to just coat it in corn flour etc. After you've cut your tofu into cubes, take some corn flour in a plate. To that add a bit of pepper and salt. Just mix it and we're going to coat all our tofu with this mix. Shake off the excess, you don't want too much corn flour on your tofu. So like this we're going to coat all our tofu and keep it aside. We're going to take a baking tray, I've kept a silk pad on it and we're going to just transfer our tofu on the mat. Those who have an air fryer, you can crisp up your tofu in the air fryer, else do it in the oven. Our oven is heated to 220 degrees centigrade. We are going to keep our tofu in there to crisp up until golden or the edges start turning a bit brown. You can flip it over also in the middle if you feel like. It will take around half an hour I think. My tofu is looking golden. I had also turned it over in the middle and it's nice and crisp. So we're going to take it out of the oven now. Let's work on the tofu now. Take a wok. To the wok, we're going to add some tamari or soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, smooth peanut butter and some garlic powder. Mix to combine and just cook it till it thickens a bit because we want to coat our tofu which we had baked with this sauce. Our sauce is very well combined and it has thickened. Once it thickens, take the tofu which you had baked and add it in there. Toss to coat. Let it dry up a bit. You just want a very well coated, crispy tofu. I've got some cherry tomatoes here. We're going to just cut them into halves. Heat a grilling pan. To that, add some oil. To the pan, we're going to add the tomatoes and just grill them. We don't need to overcook our tomatoes just until we start getting the grilled lines on our tomatoes and we'll be good to go. Let's check on our tomatoes. Yes, they're done. So I'm going to just take it out and keep it in a bowl until we use it in our recipe. I've got some udon noodles. So I've added the udon noodles into the boiling water and we're just waiting for it to get cooked. Our noodles are done. We're going to just drain it and run it under cold water and keep it aside for now. Let's work on our mango basil sauce. For that, take a mango. I've taken an Alfonso. You can take Kesar also if you find it. Just peel it. Once you have peeled it, just cut it. You just make it into small pieces and add it to the blender to make a puree with the rest of the ingredients. The mango has been added to the mixer grinder. We're going to add one chili. Usually chili is not added but I'm adding it because of the Alfonso because I don't want it overly sweet. A wee bit of sea salt, freshly squeezed lemon juice, lots and lots of basil and extra virgin olive oil. We're going to just grind this to a very fine paste. Here it's silky smooth. Now we'll add some garlic to it. I'm just taking it out in a bowl first. 
Once you have it out in a bowl, take some garlic which you, which I have grated and just mix it. Make sure it's well combined and not sitting like one big lump. Now is the time to get it all together. Here are the noodles. If you have soba noodles, you can definitely use that. I didn't have any on me today. To this, we're going to add the mango basil sauce which we have made. Toss it. So this works very well as a cold dish as well. And I like a bit of extra sauce. After you have placed the noodles in a bowl, take your tofu pieces and just add. So add it on the side anywhere you feel like. After you've added the tofu, take some julienne peppers. I've taken red and yellow and just add that on the side. Cherry tomatoes which we had grilled. Before serving, garnish it with chili flakes. It's up to you how much you would like to add. And some black sesame seeds. I've roasted it. And you can also give some lemon wedges on the side if people want to add a bit more of lemon juice. It's a hearty bowl, healthy, vegan as well. So give it a try.